A lot of presenters do feel they're already highly skilled presenters. Actually what they are very often is highly practiced presenters. They don't get feedback. So they don't know all the things they do wrong. When we ask audiences about presenters, they tell us that the things they do wrong are they have too much on each slide, they don't react or interact with the audience, they don't think about the audience, they don't think about the local needs. They talk to the slides rather than working with the audience to help make a real difference to practice locally. Other things they do wrong are they try and cram too much into too little time, they try and have the whole history of their subject rather than concentrating on something simple and they don't think enough about what they want to achieve from the presentation. When people come on the presentation skills workshop we contact them in advance and talk to them about the sort of presentations they make. They know already then when they come we're thinking about them and their individual needs. On the workshop they get a surprising amount of practice and rehearsal and they get feedback from the trainers and from their peers. They then build on this feedback and at the end of the workshop there's a big presentation. We call it the big present. And at the big present they get to make their presentation in front of an invited audience. It really concentrates their mind on making an effective presentation that is planned, has an objective and makes a difference. There is a real challenge to presenting complex clinical data. There's complicated data, there are difficult to read graphs, there is information which the audience don't know but the speaker does, and it's difficult to know the level to pitch it at. On the workshop they learn how to pitch data effectively that gets to the real heart and nub of the data that makes a real difference to the clinicians they're talking to and their patients.